<laughs> and we have our guest for today. We got Mike Classic, man. Yo. Everything is classic. Everything. Classic Mike. Yup. <laughs> AKA the Haitian sensation sometimes. <laughs> AKA Light Skin. AKA J. Cole. You see the goons in here? <laughs> oh man, yo, come on, come back. Light skin niggas rule. Okay, man, so we got Mike Classic in here. And yo, man, I, we just were reminiscing about the last interview, and I felt like we interviewed you in 2010, but we actually interviewed you in like 2009 or whatever. Yeah, just Damn, that about was a minute ago. Yeah, three years. Three years, long way. And that's when Transformers was popping. That's all that song. That song is one of my favorite Mike Classic songs, though. Really? Yeah, it is. One of them. I cringe when one I listen to it. I like. I can't listen to it, like slight. Like, Are you one of those artists that don't like like the old music being mentioned when they have new stuff come out? Nah, but when you prog when you progress and you hear how you used to flow, it's kind of like you could have did that better. You could you judge yourself. That's how I feel. So I can't listen to the record. So what do you think has really changed about the flow, or whatever, since then? I think um, I just got better with it. I feel I sound more comfortable. Mm -hmm. and, um, I finally like found myself, found my sound. But you know, when people tell me about Transformers. I feel like I have to do it over again. And I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, do a Transformers short too. Release. Yeah, re-release and, uh, you know, you know, new verses or whatever. Because we tried to push it for the movie. Mm -hmm. And they told me it was too hip-hop. So, Yo, man, we were just talking about Michael yeah. Bay or whatever. I don't think yeah, he likes... Uh, he, did you hear about him, like, putting the, the restraining order on Tyrese? For real? Yeah, so... <laughs> it was what? wild. Just because Tyrese was running around saying that he was cool with Michael Bay. Yeah. So he put a restraint on him? Yeah. No, no. It's just, well, it's just he, another way to keep the black man down, bro. Then he, uh, then he, what's, he fired, what's serious. her name too, right? Um, oh, oh, what's that chick? Megan, Megan, Megan Fox. Fox. Yeah, what's she do? Not I don't know, something. Uh, no, I she think. Wanna, actually, you know what happened, honestly? So she, could, she should get paid more or something? She wanted to get paid and she didn't want to suck the man's cock. That's, what, that's what happens. You gotta get close to the mic and talk oh, to shit. Well, That's what happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Now you see the big difference. Yeah, the yeah, difference yeah, yeah. a step makes. <clears throat> okay, that's man. So, you know, if you've been checking the blog, I've been kind of shitting on your life because i'm like yo man where in the hell is when amazing it where amazing yo, happens coming man. out man yo a lot of a lot of delays but it's coming out this month like it's yeah i see dance. yo you're light skin <laughs> <laughs> it's coming it's coming out this month finally finally man and i could see it's actually coming out because i see so many things happen right right right, right so we just trying to keep it consistent i'm not letting out the day yet because we're not too sure we're trying to balance out or go through like at least three see which one is the best mm -hmm. so I don't announce it on Twitter or whatever, but it's definitely coming out April. You know? Okay, so you recently just dropped this record with French Montana. Yeah. So how's your life been since then? I mean, <laughs> more busy. You know what I'm saying? Now that we got, you know, Flex dropping it, Enough dropping it, Hot 97 on my side, you know, 105 playing the records here and there. Um, I just got to have time to do what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm at these events. Just trying to get my name out there more and more, and you know, shout out to the DJs that showing love is really helping. Shout out to Mike Classic for getting into the MGK event. Yeah, and Twin picking and everything, yo. Yeah, yeah, yo, yeah I want to yeah. ask you real quick though, like how how did that um how that collaboration come about? The friends? Yeah. Um, yeah, that was about yeah that too. That was like three years ago. A lot of people think it's new. That shit, you know, I recorded that like three years ago. Um, I just met French through mutual friends in the streets. So um, you know, I was in Harlem. And I was talking AKA to my trapping. Yeah. <laughs> I was in Harlem doing what I do and I was talking to my people. It was like, you know, I let them know I was a big fan of French. So we went to my boy Harry Fraud. That's my dude right there. And then um dude just called him up, like, oh, come through the studio. Came through, played him a couple records. And you know, he liked what he heard. And we just dropped the beat and we just kicked it from there. So you said the song was from three years ago. So About did three, you really, three or two years ago, yeah. Did you really fix up your verses? Because you said you don't like your, you didn't like your old flow, or you, just because you were advancing. Right, 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 right. Nah, I didn't, I didn't touch that one. I yeah. feel like that, you no, know. Timing I, is everything for real. Yeah. Especially like now that he's on the cover for the double XL. Right, whatever. right, yeah. right. I mean, it was it was basically my manager who said, "Yo, let's throw it out now." Because I was about to be like, hold it for the tape. Mm -hmm. And then you know when we threw it out, you know the people just ate it up. Ate it up, you know what I'm saying? Talk about breadwinners, like, you mention that all the time. Like, what is that really? Breadwinners is, uh, group? My yeah, it's my management group, my entertainment uh, group. Uh, we got me and we got my boy Tolu that's on, like, a lot of my records that's going to be on the tape. So, and my manager E, you know, it's the CEO. So that's mm -hmm. basically my group. Okay. You know? yeah. So we just wanted to get that cleared up for anybody right, that right, right. you shouting out the breadwinners lifestyle. And, like, what is that? You know, it's a way, it's a, it's a way of life. You trapping just, out here? Nah. 
<laughs> we just, we just, uh. Note how he said I was in Harlem doing what I do. Right? <laughs> what do you do is? Now, now, we, now yeah. Harlem is the closest. Yo, know. man, I, I need to know. get this guy, Young Lights, to do a skit and, like, play that, like, after the song, yo. I already know. Oh, no, you oh, really oh, gonna oh, jack oh, my oh, shit oh, already? I just oh, talked oh, about oh, it. Oh, 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 no. No. You like skinny guys always still about R and L crap, yo. G Swag <laughs> did it the other day. Now it's my classic. You and, know, I already work left. with light skinned rappers, <laughs> so you know he's next. They next. And I don't even rap, baby. <laughs> everybody's, everybody's, everybody's there next. you go. Okay, so Four chops. He been in the game. Word. Okay, yeah. so we are talking to Mike Classic yeah. because you know he has an iPhone and I have an Android. He yes. was just crapping on my life like there was no tomorrow. Yeah. Nah, I had I had an Android before for a week. And I gave up, and I'm really disappointed in you for having that in front Yo, of my face. y'all lucky I had him for a week. What, Android? Word. The, Yo, it's not the that Android bad. community is lucky that you had an Android for a week, bro. <laughs> had it for a week, and it just shut everything down. But, like, Thursday, it lost all my contacts. And I was like, fuck this shit. Nah, you bro. know what pissed me off, though? When Instagram came to Android, and I couldn't log on to Android. Instagram Cause you got you got the shorties going wild. They're like, minutes. ooh, <laughs> after 12 a.m. Let me get some follows real quick. Trying to get butt naked and all they're rubbing, that. They're rubbing their nipple while and they, they have yeah, their hand on the Instagram. Their pictures mad blurry, and then they try to put a filter on it, and it, and just, it just looks horrible. You just look like. Oh, you know, I was talking, talking about this off air. I'm sorry. I don't mean to cut you off. We well, I, was, I think it's the black and white effect, right? Not the black and white what effect. We were talking about the filter effect. How all these girls be on Instagram and they look like models, like supermodel quality. And I know a couple, I actually want to say some of y'all names, so I'm not going to do it. Say some names, Justin. Not gonna, say some names. Name drop. Name drop. I'm not going to say no names because most people from Queens. But, you know what I'm saying? Queens. Like, they have these thousands of followers on Instagram. And then when you see them in person, it's just like, yo, you really don't look like that. Hundred likes each, all that. Every picture got a thousand likes, hundred likes. Like they hood celebrities off Instagram, it's crazy. It's yeah, man, you can't it's not yeah, yeah. When you get when you go um, when you follow them and then uh, what you call it, you see them in person. Oh, that shit, yeah. it's just so it's disappointing, yo. It's like, come uh, on. You know, so we just saw six feet over. Is that dedicated to those chicks? <laughs> no, it's dedicated to. Honestly, besides that, like you think you're beautiful, you're beautiful. I can see it. You I see you getting your LO on in that song, yo. It's like cool cuffing, J. walking through the park, and everything. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. God, yeah. <laughs> nah, because I met a lot of insecure girls, like they and they gorgeous. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And they'd be like, No, I don't want to do this. I don't look that good. I don't want to go out. Blah blah. I'm like, Yo, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like you're beautiful. You know what I'm okay. saying? You just gotta realize that. You know what I'm saying? So. I just had to do that. That's some light skin them. talking right now. You beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. As long as you don't post that on Instagram, we good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. So now you just dropped a bunch of other records or whatever. Right. And like the anticipation for Where Amazing Happens. That's yeah. the right title, right? Yeah, Where I Amazing I felt like so wrong just saying it for some reason. It just did it. Yeah. Roll up my tongue right, pause. Where Amazing Happens. Pause. 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 I where cut my tongue. You see his face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, Where Amazing Happens. That's what it is. So how many songs so far mm -hmm. that you've dropped are going to actually be on the effort? A whole different lane, that's it. That's it? Yeah, Because I was like, you can't be dropping like five, six songs in this. Nah, gonna be part six feet over, drop bombs, Um, all the freestyles, and not, that's not the take. So what are, when you're going to start dropping those records there, you're not going to drop them, period. It'll just be like, yeah, I'm like classic. <laughs> nah, we shooting a video, so uh, when we release the song, we're going to release it with a video. Okay. So I would say in two weeks, you're going to hear the second one off the tape. So not many artists have had the opportunity to have their records dropped by like DJ Enough and Fuck Master Flex. So what was your first reaction when that happened? I missed it. I got I, when I people, people, yeah, people called me and I was like, I thought it was a joke. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, come on, son. Like, Flex. And then they called me. Then he, my manager called me. Everybody started calling me. I saw my tweets. And I was like, wow. You know, when you see stuff like that, it just makes you realize that the stuff you're doing is working. It's, you know, it's actually paying off. Because, mm -hmm. like, you lose sleep over this. You know what I'm saying? Like, go through days without sleeping just so, just so you can get it. So when you got DJs, legendary DJs, someone you love, you know, it's a beautiful feeling. But, you know, you got to keep moving. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. But you got to keep moving because that's not all I want. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So what do you, what do you, if you could take over the world... If I can take over the world? Yeah. R I know you're a big Nas fan. All Renault will be in the front office. Swag. Here we go. Swag. Here we go. All in that, all in all, whatever you want to call it. Here we fucking go. You yeah. heard that? You heard it here. My classic. We in the building. R and O. I don't believe that. I just introduced this to this guy. He acts like he's the president, commander in chief. That's what I got to do, man. We got to stick together. Son, life right? forever. Come on, yeah. get pound, baby. Get pound, baby. Uh. Uh, young, young life Yo, man. coming. Yo, New York City, it's, it's just so awkward in here. I'm like the only dusty person in here, yo. It just got real. Yo, I'm surrounded by all these lights. just got real. <laughs> yo, man, let's just talk. How many tracks are going to be on this, on this, on where music happens? Um, 17. 
What, what about the features besides French Montana? Um, I got no other features. Just me and uh, Tolu. Tolu, R&B singing. He's also... Okay, so it's Papa Radio and we're right back. I think um, Lefty wants to ask you a question. Oh, yeah. So, I wasn't, like, on no creep shit or nothing like that. But I saw your Twitter, like... It was like, actually on his creep shit. I wasn't. <laughs> I was on my journalist shit, actually. But now, I see like you post on Twitter, like, like, maybe a week ago, that... You was upset at people coming up to you speaking Spanish, like old people coming up to you speaking Spanish. <laughs> Yo, oh man, yeah, I remember I tweeted that. Yo, I be in the city, right? And I just be walking, and you got like mothers just coming across the street, like basically asking me, you know, how to get home. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I'm not Spanish, so I'd be like, you know, no say, whatever. And I just that shit irked me. You know what I'm saying? Okay, man. So let's talk about you being in the club. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about yeah, you being in the club. Like, pretend to be Drake, J. Cole when you're drunk, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was this, there was this one chick. Um, it was actually recent. She was like, J. Cole, J. Cole. And I was like, come on, Spanish. son. Not that. <laughs> she was... She was nah, she was, she was white. Was she was white. So she just wouldn't let it go. She just wouldn't... I was like, nah, nah, nah. She's like, nah, J. Cole. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? What's up? What's going on? Blah blah blah. So did you hit her with that? Hey, I was like, North Carolina, man, cold word, cold word. But you know, soon, <laughs> soon, you know what I'm saying? Like my niggas was just laughing. I was just messing with her, and I, sooner or later, I was just like, Yo, I'm not J Cole. So I get out of my face. Come on, man. She was just mad drunk and all that, falling on the floor. Yeah, I'm belligerent. Yeah, I love him. I love so him man, since drunk. you've been having a little success, have some people been trying to get at you as of late? In regards to what, like, what you mean? Anything, man. Some people being like, Yo, fuck my classic. He's not that good. Any of that. Honestly, like. Probably, maybe not, maybe, but they don't say it to my face, so I don't respect it. Okay, I respect that. Like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna talk about me, you know what I'm saying? Tell me. Okay, cool. <laughs> so I'm about to drop a diss track on you tomorrow. Alright. <laughs> cool. Would you respond to a diss record? Nah, man, I don't got time for that. Nice. Cool. I don't definitely got time. But how bad does it have to be to really, for you to really respond? Because you know, sometimes. Like usually when you don't respond, they just try to really get get at you personally at some real personal facts. Right. He's getting a text from French Montana. Nah, 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 nah. I don't, if, you know, regardless.